Hey guys, YouTube pals, back again after a three-day uh, break. Kind of, I, I don't, I, I still don't really have that much motivation. Not motivation, but I don't really have that much reason to make this YouTube video. I'm fine, really, without posting. I just wanted, you know, to keep you guys updated and show you guys some really cool sketches. So before I get started, um, shout out to Catzilla. Well, I did that in my Warrior Cats video. And also, please uh, go into my subscriptions or just search it up. Uh, Pokemon Granddad. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting and checking out my channel. I have been watching your channel pretty regularly and watching it. A lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, please keep in mind that a lot of these sketches in this book, um, I will not show you guys. And there will be lots of pauses in the video. As I don't want to give any spoilers to a project that is currently in the works. So, I will... I, um... I'm going to show you a lot of stuff, though. So, yeah. Hope you guys it's enjoy. Not a spoiler. I'll just give you that as a teaser. But behind here is the Andy Matronic fan art from when I did that video. I said I would have to skip over lots of drawings because lots of them have potential spoilers. But this one is one that I did not make. This is by one of my friends. I, uh,. Blue Star Senpai. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. And also, she also changed her name. So, yeah, that that's an old name. Um, so, yeah. And I also, I, I attempted to draw something. Next, yeah. I drew a cat. Which, as you will see later on, as we get to the Warrior Cat sketches, you will see that me drawing cats has definitely improved more than this. And also... Teaser... It was a, uh, a fan... a fanfic kind of Warriors map from something I did, oh, years ago. But it, it was fun, it was nostalgic, so I was like... I'm gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna remake it, so I did, and it turned out really, really cool. Concept art for a RPG Maker game. Undertale drawing. So most of these are made by my, uh, one of my friends, um, Sebastian. He, the only time he was mentioned in this channel is in my very first live stream, and also... Pickle Rick! If you guys haven't watched Stormbolt Season 2 on uh, Cooper Studios, it's a very amazing um, thing. Check it out. But this is just a drawing I drew of one of the characters in it. Even though the characters are Legos, but I was like, I kind of made that. And no, it's, it's not spoiling anything. It's just really just a drawing of my interpretation of a Lego figure. This is a drawing of my Lego figure that I never finished. Yeah. Super accurate. And this right here is the beginning of a comic series. One that will be awesome. One that will answer a lot of questions in Team 11. And one that will actually be published. More info will be coming soon. Yeah. So here, I drew a snowman, I drew a porg, and Sebastian drew a banana. I tried drawing manga for the first time. I drew manga for the second time. And I drew a weird looking thing that's in my social studies classroom. This is a cool city thingy. Awesome sword. This is actually a drawing of my ultra sword. Dear yeah. God, Shining Mew. I like Shining Mew, it's just this drawing is terrible. That was terrible, but this is great. At a modest extent, but uh, this is Shining Genesect. Okay, um, back to terrible. This is Shining Rayquaza. And finally, we are here at the actual good section, the warrior section. 
Fire alone will save our clan. This is Firepaw, if you were wondering, from the old cover artwork of Into the Wild. This is Rusty from the SSS Warrior Cats animated series. Blue Star from the SSS um, Warrior Cats animated series. I actually redid her. Uh, you'll see that at the very end. She looks much, much better. Don't worry. Don't. It's Grey Paw, a character I really want to redo, therefore, actually turned out pretty good. drawing that I showed you guys in um, the Warrior Cats video. The shading was a bit bad. I don't really shade that much in my drawings anymore. Um, a lot of people complain that this looked a lot like a wolf, and I do agree. It kind of does. But now a lot of people are saying, oh, well, um,. Furries always put that, that, the, the emo hair thingy, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I, I, I thought it looked, it looks cool in my opinion. So I drew it, and I think this is actually one of my Thinking best. Best. This is, um, the opposite, um, SSS, um, Warrior Cat's, uh, Spotted Leaf. Blue Star, she was going to turn out pretty good, but then I kind of used the complete different materials, so I, it looked weird, but uh, SSS Warrior Cats O-Cart from episode 1, part 1, and episode, I think it is 3, part 2. I drew the scene with Snow Kit and Blue Kit from Blue Star's Prophecy. Um, from actually Allery's animated series. I do have a playlist of that on in my playlist. So you guys should go check it out. Only the prologue is a bit, a bit depressing. And talking of the you prologue, can see down here, this is a fail. Such a fail that I'm just going to keep on going like this. This comic was about Blue Star going to Star Clan, but I decided it was too depressing to make. So I kind of. Uh, pull the plug on it. Even though I'm probably going to do a speed sketch of a drawing, um, well, basically if you did a drawing where Star, uh, where, nah, Blue Star went to Star Clan and it was like, welcome back, I'm probably going to draw something like that. But, something that's not a fail, an OC Ember Star. And I know he's not like an Ember color, but he has Ember eyes, so, yay. Yep. Yay. Thumbs up. Our prototype faces. see in YouTube videos. I'm probably not going to use any of these, but, uh, yeah. It was cool making them. This one looks boss. Raw. This was my first take on Spotted Leaf. It was my terrible. My second take of Spotted Leaf was turning out so bad that I pretty much trashed it. I didn't even Lord, finish but it. But it's done. The eye's a bit crooked. I'm probably going to redo it again. In the far future, because Spotted Leaf is a cool character, so I would like to draw her multiple times. Because she's a cool character. Yeah. This is technically Blue Star, but I guess you could say it's any cat that you want. As I promised, this is the new version of Blue Star that I finally got around to making. And if you look at the eyes, it's just, it's overall better, and I'm really proud of this one. Um, as you can see, I didn't shade that much. I also decided not to do the lines in the ears. I kind of just did some, you know, just a bit darker shading. But really, the only shading and lines was this and this. And to be honest, I don't think that takes away from this drawing. You could, I, I really don't. So... Uh, my next drawing that I will make is Longtail, um, the SSS Warrior Cats version, uh, with, like, the blood coming down from his face. I used the picture in my Warrior Cats video, so I'm actually gonna do a time-lapse of me drawing. Now, this has actually striked up some controversy among my friends, but to be honest, it actually still does give you skill, is that... A lot of my drawings, a lot of my SSS Warrior Cats drawings, are me looking at SSS Warrior Cats, like, actual screenshots, and copying down every line. And I know you guys are going to be like, yo, that's not cool, but you actually learn stuff from it. From copying it, I learned how to draw cats better. 
If you guys want me to draw a crystal in like an SSS word cat style, I can without looking at a picture. But for instance, the blue star that's right here, she is from a screenshot of when she looks at Spotted Leaf, and Spotted Leaf shares her that prophecy. Fire alone will save our clan. Kind of going to voice over, um, you know, me drawing long tail. Now, the two pictures that I used, that was actually a gift. That's why it's moving. But, yeah, the two pictures that I used were inconsistent. So, uh, it didn't really turn out to be that much of an accurate piece. Even though it actually still looks really good. And, you know, you could tell if you looked at a picture... You know, if you looked at the picture and then looked at the drawing, you'd be like, yeah, that's the same thing. It's not completely different. It's just a little inaccurate. This is off topic, but uh, another Team 11 episode won't be able to come out till next weekend. Because next weekend is when I get my iPod, you know, set up again so I can animate because my phone is really terrible at posting the animations. If you don't know what scene this drawing is from, from the books or the SSS Warrior Cats, this is, I forgot what episode, but this is when Firepaw, or actually Rusty at the time, fights Longtail and uh, scars him and scars his ear and he starts bleeding. So it's kind of from that scene, it's post their fight. Oh, you're not going to see me for a while because I'm going to go get a crayon. And unfortunately, the first crayon I get, it looks tan, but it's actually a weird purple. So it turns out a part of the drawing, like an itsy bitsy part of the drawing is um, purple. But as you can see, the color of the tan, it's almost like a skin tone kind of color. And, um, actually on the screen it does look like it's actual color, but in real life it's more of like a skin tone color. And it almost, yeah, it almost looks like a hairless cat, which, um, in real life, which, by the way, hashtag all cats are cute and amazing. So, yeah, this is the finished drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it definitely does look really good, in my opinion. So, I will see you guys later.